Hi guys, it's Mike from Raycon. I'm joined today by Caleb from Bubblebee, and he's here to talk about the Psychic. So Caleb, tell us a bit about the Psychic, please. Yeah, thanks Mike. Um, so the Psychic is our one of our newest products. Mm -hmm. It's uh, an in-ear monitor, an IFB solution, mm -hmm. um, which uh, is incredibly small and uh, comes in, uh, I'll show you actually, let's yeah, take a look. A uh, so that's the uh, instruction manual, that's the box. So here we go, there's your sidekick. This is a left mono side, it comes in left, right or stereo versions. Yep. And the thing about the sidekick that makes it so special is the driver um, a lot of previous solutions use uh, uh, a system where the driver sits outside the ear yep. and the sound gets conducted up some kind of uh, tube yep. to the uh, to the ear and uh, that can leave the the sound quite thin or nasal uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's ideal for exactly what it's yeah made for yep. uh, not in some slight different situations which uh, people sometimes need to find a solution for. Of course. So the Sidekick is a, is a very discreet solution where the driver, which is that, actually sits inside the ear canal. So the whole driver goes inside, which means um, you can have a very high quality sound device which is pretty much invisible. Yep. Um, it also comes with some other options in terms of attenuating the outside noise. So okay. um, one of the things about wearing a, a solid molded piece, for example, is it blocks your ear. Mm -hmm. um, and if you were, for example, in a situation where you're having a conversation left or right, yeah. um, sometimes having one ear blocked or both ears blocked, yeah, um, being, a, being a presenter <clears throat> or, or being on screen in some way on camera, mm. uh, it's, uh, it, it's a bit disconcerting. So this allows you options of how much of your surroundings you want to attenuate. Okay. Which is pretty cool. Wow, should we, should we have a look at those options? Have you... Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm actually okay. wearing it now. Oh, you are, of course. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> I've got a right ear in here, so. Yeah, the hair helps. Yeah, yeah. But even without the hair. Yeah. Pretty discreet, in fact, very discreet. Yeah, so that one's, uh, I'll take it out here so you can see it, just stay focused in there. Hopefully I cleared my ear canal, but that's the, the driver on the right here. It hooks over the top of the ear, and there's a cable the running down the back, the, back yeah. with a clip down to the IFB receiver in my pocket. So I've got uh, Andy in the other office telling me all about Raycom. Well, <laughs> I'll leave this out for now. Um, so is that to you, Dizzy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, basically the driver is a high impedance driver, so very high quality sound. It yeah. is um, frequency wise, it does uh, tune mainly to the vocal frequencies. Yeah. So uh, that's going to be from about 100 hertz up to about 8k. That's yep. where it's focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's all you need to get uh, cues. Mm -hmm. um, it does also work for music cues because if you need to discern tonality and uh, yeah. rhythm, of course. Uh, that, that yeah. frequency band works really well for that as well. Yeah. Um, and because it's high impedance and that is intended because it's good quality sound yep. that you get out of this thing, um, you do need to plug it into something uh, which kicks out a, d a decent amount of voltage, yep. um, which would be uh, an IFB receiver like the, the Wizzycom MPR50 IEM or um, any of the other, other ones options. available yep. on the market. Yeah, yeah, so, of course. Um, so that's basically set up. Always remember, uh, plug it in while it's switched off. Yes. And then turn it on, especially if it's in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to get any um, loud surprises. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, so. Other features about the Sidekick are the cable. Um, it's a very strong cable. It's Kevlar reinforced, mm -hmm. which means you can give that a proper tug and it won't break. There was uh, oh. a couple of videos we've seen of people trying to break it where they actually hurt their hands before the cable gave. <laughs> um, so the cable is yeah going to last a long time. Uh, it comes in both uh, Coiled, coiled uh, yeah. strain relief, or a straight version. I was wearing the straight version. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, the 
talking about the attenuation, mm -hmm. which you asked about. Yeah. Um, so when we were speaking about using it in uh, for pre presenters, using it in a, a, a group discussion type format, mm -hmm. um, having an open uh, ambient sound yeah. uh, allows them to talk naturally. It's natural, yeah. Actually, you forget it's in. You forget it's there totally. Oh, um, and uh, it's very comfortable, and then suddenly a voice appears in your head. So there are um, a few different ear tips available. Like mm -hmm. I said before, yep. that give you different options for the attenuation of the outside space. Yep. Um, so the one it comes with uh, normally fitted is the satellite mm -hmm. ear tip, which is this one over here. All the ear tips are available as accessories and they all also come in different sizes, depending sure. the size of the talent's ear yep. canal, uh, what feels comfortable. So there's the satellite, which has got holes in it like this, and that attenuates zero dB. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is great because if you're talking a few people around, you forget it's in. Yeah. And you can have a normal conversation and still receive cues in yeah. a very clear way. It feels way. natural to presenters. And, well, it doesn't yeah. feel like anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It weighs something silly like point, is it point 0.3 grams. I don't know. It's tiny. She knows. I should know, it's in there, it's in the green book, <laughs> the green book. Um, and then we've got the cowbell, which is this one over here, and that attenuates anywhere from, you know, four to six dB of your surrounding mm -hmm. areas. Um, this one over here, which is double, is the Christmas tree. Yep. And the Christmas tree is also available in different sizes, of course, uh, that attenuates up to about nine dB okay. of your surrounding space. Uh, the more you attenuate, the more it separates the sound, so you get a louder experience in the ear. Yeah, um, of course. So it depends how much volume they want. And it depends Sometimes, on the application as well, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're on set in, mm -hmm. in a sound stage and, and, and you need, and there's a lot of noise on set and yeah. you need some kind of isolation, then mm -hmm. use the Christmas tree. That'll give you a much louder experience as a, for the talent. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and in that way, you can probably, I think people are using it for music applications, mm. uh, for cues for either singing, dancing, whistling along to a tune, that, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, if, especially in an on ensemble situation, they'll use uh, a more closed off ear tip okay. um, to give them a better, better cue. <laughs> yeah. And these are safe once they're on. So I'll show you, I'll put the Christmas tree on here for you. It kind of clips on. You should be able to hear this in one of our mics. There you go. There you go. It's a very light very, click. <laughs> very, yeah. <laughs> kind of like the DPA 6060 cap going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that kind of feel? Feel, and then it's 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 not going to come off uh, very easily at all. That's uh, it's it's pretty secure. solid. So it's not going to get left behind in the ear. Won't get left out. behind yeah. the ear. No. Yeah, yeah. The, I mean, these are all made uh, to very high health standards, so uh, yeah. it's uh, it's, tested. it's tested. It's <laughs> tested um, to to work properly. Uh, so that goes in your left ear. That's uh, you can see the M M two L on the le on the left side. Yeah. Um, the right version that I'm wearing over here has an M two R in red. And that's a right side. And the reason we have a left and a right side is because of the, I'll take this uh, ear tip off again to show you this, is because of the angle of entry of the cable. Yes. So the left side cable comes in from this side, the right side cable comes in from the other side. Yep. And that's important so that it sits comfortably in the yeah. ear canal. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise it's gonna be constantly yeah. twisting inside. <clears throat> yeah. Me? Yeah. <laughs> and that's everything that comes in the box. So um, you get some accessories with it, which are different ear tips, uh, one of each of the Christmas tree, cowbell, and satellite. So it gets you going straight so off the bat. So it gets you going straight off the bat. Yeah. Um, and then it comes with, um, that's your stereo, it comes with a clip, which we call the Hippo Cable Clip. Um, and I've got a separate one here because it's like a hippopotamus. It opens up and closes. Yeah. So that's designed to clip onto the back of your collar. Either back of your collar, collar. yeah. Any kind of clothing and run, that, run the cable down the back. Sure. There is actually uh, another <clears throat> cable clip that it comes with as well, which is called the hornbill, because of this little thing here. Yeah. <laughs> and that is your traditional push to open, yeah. release to yeah. clamp. Um, yeah, so. That is a kit that should get you started with the Sidekick, basically, but all of these accessories are available as little accessories, accessories. packs as well. Of course. We've got these little rods. 
yeah. inside as well. That's what I those. Yeah, they're called the, um, the filter, basically. It's a filter change rod. So um, the Sidekick comes with a two-year warranty. Mm -hmm. um, we'll replace or, or repair where possible yep. during those two years so your investment is safe. Um, sometimes, because it's going inside the ear canal, you can get some wax buildup. Sure. Um, we find with the satellite, because it's got these little openings, these holes, yep. that some wax can get in there. So it's good just to clean that off with a little cloth afterwards. Yep. Um, if wax does happen to get under the ear tip into, I don't know if you can see that, the, little hole. the tiny little yeah. hole in that white bit there, which is the filter, um, that's got a little grid in it, actually, that stops anything getting right into the driver. So got the transducer is safe. Yes, yeah. protected, yeah. Um, <clears throat> These little, these little rods are designed to uh, take out the old filter and replace it with a new filter, oh. which is on this side. Um, and if it does lose frequencies noticeably, then the first thing to do change is the filter. Oh. check the filter for yeah. wax. Check yeah. the ear tip for wax, check yeah. the filter for wax. And if you change the filter, this goes in. It's one use only. It's like a little bee sting. So kind of pops in there, pulls out the old filter. Swing it around, pop in the new filter, and then this will be discarded. But it comes with, each pack comes with uh, a couple of those in the pack. Bro. Fantastic. So yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Caleb. Yeah, no um, worries. If anyone has any further questions or uh, wants to get in touch, just give us a call or drop us an email or leave us a comment on the, at the bottom underneath the video. And uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And thanks again, Caleb. Yeah. Take care, guys. Cheers. Cheers.